Welcome to After Hour, a podcast where a journalist retains a lawyer to solve societal problems. Because sometimes knowing why isn't good enough. We need to know what we can do. Sometimes we need more than truth. We need hope. I'm Jane Steele, your host and investigative journalist here with Joseph, the managing partner of Sang & Associates. Today, I really want to dive into child abuse with you. Child abuse that happens not only at the hands of parents, family members, strangers, but the abuse that children suffer at the hands of our broken system. Vargas Corden was a 37-year-old male Guatemalan citizen who was living in the United States at the time. In 2008, he was visiting his family back in Guatemala, and at that time, he actually began a sexual relationship with his then 15-year-old niece. He eventually did make arrangements with a smuggler to bring his niece back to the United States. After returning there, he had his niece stay with him in a home that they shared with several other people, and he and his niece shared a room and continued their sexual relationship. During that time, he brought her with him to the work site and a coworker started to catch on. He then contacted authorities. The Department of Homeland Security found her in a bedroom in the house in Brooklyn. And at the end of all of this, Vargas Corden was sentenced to 10 years in prison, followed by five years of supervised release for alien smuggling and harboring. Clearly in this particular case, the system did their job and she was taken out of a bad situation. She was rescued. What about all of these cases that never get reported? 3.6 million reports of child abuse are made every year. We do have laws in place, but I also don't think we're doing nearly enough. What would you recommend for a system that I see as broken? What was the catalyst that got everything moving? It was that coworker it comes to this philosophical question, how should we as a society, how should this commonwealth help parents be better parents and educate the young because they are the future of this country. 